to today's hospitality principle video. Today we'll be looking at drink management or drink menu management and inventory. Now, inventorying is a very important aspect of business. Of course, you want to know how much um, goods you have on hand, how much um, goods you've sold, and what your cost is. Now, as far as how much goods you have sold, that's very simple. Just simply pull it up on your POS these days that pretty much any POS system will do that. Now, as far as keeping track of food, not food costs, but sorry, but beverage costs and assigning, you know, prices per glass or per shot, per bottle, your selling price there. It can get a little bit more tricky when you play around with those. And I've still found the best way is with a good old Excel file. Now, creating an Excel file that will do all this for you can take a lot of time. So I've created a template here, which I will share down in the description below, where it's very simple. I'll run you through it. If you need more details, leave a comment in the uh, down below, and I can do it in depth. Uh, kind of on-screen uh, review of it. But basically this has six, seven tabs. First tab is Mark General. Here on the left-hand side, you would create a list of distributors you use. Second category, you would put in your categories. Very straightforward. Um, the one I put in will already have. It has wine, beer, uh, sake, liquor, soda, juice, mixers, bitters and other non-alcoholic packaging size or packaging. Uh, so is it box, bottle, can, keg? Um, there are also a bunch of case sizes, one through 30. Bottle sizes, 1.14 up to 750. And then measure, type of measure. So that is, you're gonna look at like, okay, 1.4, is that liters or milliliters, is it ounces? You know, these are going to be some measure types you can put in there. You can add more if, if you would like, if you have different form of measure. Now, these are the most common formats that bottles tend to come in. I don't have anything under sake grade, but these are, you can put in Jinmai, Jinmai Ginjo, Honjozo, anything like that. Regions, you can put in, if it's American, you say it's from California, it's from New York, it's from Ohio, wherever it may be, or Japan, it's from Gunma, it's from Akita, it's from whatever. You get the idea there. Wine color. So as of now, I have red, white, rosé, and orange. You can category for wine grapes. So you can put in your varietals there. You can put in Pinot Noir. You can put Gamay. You can put you know any of the wine categories you want in there. Wine country. Um, you Put the country of origin, France, U.S., Austria, Australia, wine regions. So you can put in the regions here. And the reason why I'm not doing this on the individual tab and for individual wines is many of these are repetitive. You have, let's say, Pinot Noir. Um, you know, you want to keep the format as consistent as possible. You're putting your Pinot Noir as one word, which is incorrect. It's two words, but, you know, if you have discrepancies where you don't have that proper spacing in there, you then have difficulty organizing or searching. Same with wine regions. You're probably going to have, you know, a lot of wines there from Burgundy or, you know, a particular California. These are big regions that are very popular. So you're probably going to have multiple wines. If you can keep them consistent and you're like, okay, hey, I want to do a parry for you know, California, any California wines I have, and I also want to pair it for reds, you're able to do that with having these um, consistent here. Yeah, beer regions, beer styles, alcohol type. Um, alcohol type would be for your liquors. You can put in tequila, you can put in gin, anything on the, along those sides. Also on this page, you have a calculation um, area here. So you would enter in to measure from liter to ounces and milliliters to ounces. Ounces, I find, are the easiest way to create your cost 
um, come up with cost of goods sold and to create your pricing for what you're going to be using when you're measuring you're going to have you know one ounce um, pours you're going to have or shots you're going to have you know a martini that's let's say 3.5 ounces or you're going to have a glass of wine that's either five or six ounces so it's the most common easy to use denominator following you're going to have um, non-alcoholic you have that broken down into distributor category product name case size bottle size measure type of measure bottle size in ounce case size in ounce case cost and then serving per ounce bottle selling price serving selling price so once you've entered that information in and again like distributor if you click on it here it has a drop down and it's going to show you the distributors same with category product name you're going to have to enter case size you do a drop down bottle size you do a drop down type of measure a drop down a lot of these are going to be drop downs and it's automatically going to populate such things as um, bottle cost serving cost how many servings per bottle they are cost per ounce and then once you put in the selling price for per bottle and per serving it will also give you a percentage so what is the percentage cost of each product now each tab is relatively similar the wine tab the socket tab the liquor tab just a little variance in the information it is kind of asking for well, hopefully you find this useful. If you did, make sure to like this video. Uh, if you didn't, of course, there's always a thumb down. But I highly appreciate it if you would like the video. Check out our other videos as well. Leave a comment down below if you have any special requests, you need any assistance, you want help customizing this here. And again, none of this is um, password locked. Anything that is locked, you can go to review and unprotect sheet and you will be able to edit any of this here. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you around.